Hi, this is Harris with WTI, and I'm here to provide you some tips and tricks about choosing a power or console solution. We're going to go over some frequently asked questions right now, and we're going to do it in video form over a text or frequently asked questions section. Another question we get is about Windows servers, and so if you needed to successfully reboot a Windows server, you can still do this with our device. And you would simply log into our device and reboot these Windows servers without having to push a physical on and off power. Because our units use a mechanical relay, they fully cut power to the unit and they will reboot the unit back with full power. So once you cut the power, it will be cut for about half a second and it will come back on. It's long enough for the Windows server to completely use power and come back up like it was actually hard shut off if you were physically there. And again, this is solving the solution of if you were actually needing to reboot the unit hard, this is exactly what's going to happen with the unit. It's going to reboot it, a complete hard reboot like you were physically there at the data center. Uh, a Linux server uses a graceful shutdown or it slowly trickles power down. And so sometimes you can shut them down actually on the server side themselves. You can shut down power on the Linux server itself and it will automatically reboot itself. Windows servers require a hard reboot and so because of this you fully have to cut power to the unit to bring it back up. If you were using a Windows server, you'd want to do a restore on power up so that when you do power down the unit, it realizes that when it gets power back, it's going to fully restore its settings back to the way it should properly be. And again, you're going to want to log into the BIOS of this unit and change that feature so that when you do cut the power, it properly comes back up when you restore power. I hope these tips and tricks that we've gone over has helped you. Again, every application and every solution is different, so you're going to want to look at what you're trying to accomplish to get the proper unit. If you want more information about what we went over, you can go to WTI.com and the link is below me on this video. Also, thank you again for watching and I hope you guys have walked away from something and at least picking a power or console solution will, will be a lot easier now that you know the information that you do.